All right, hi everyone. Here we are introducing Joe Koo from the Destiny Farm. I'm gonna ask him a couple of questions just to find out a little more about him. All right, first question. When did you come to the Destiny Farm? I arrived here last year, so June of last year. So it's been just over a year now that I've been on the farm. Oh wow, a whole year, quite long. <laughs> um, and what do you do here? Um, various things. I do a lot of work on the media production in terms of filming, editing, putting projects together. I also spend a lot of time looking at ways to create new content, new ways to present information, and that basically is the majority of my project. Oh, here. cool. Yeah. Any completed projects out so far? We recently ventured into short filmmaking. Uh, we released two so far uh, that seem to do very well, so we're looking forward to doing more things like that. Awesome. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of projects on the back burner that I am not going to talk about yet. Ah, cliffhanger. Um, okay, next question. What so far has been your biggest challenge of living here in the farm environment? Well, there are various challenges that come with um, leaving the life that I had, which was living, you know, in the system, um, working a job, working 80-hour weeks, and kind of being used to a system life, being used to the grind and living in the city. And coming here where it's basically the polar opposite of that was an adjustment. Um, so that was one of the challenges that was most evident. It's being in a totally different environment, not just location-wise, but also the people and the community that is here. Because I was coming from, you know, a corporate world where I, you know, my relationships were only really based on my work environment and things like that. And now I'm living in a place where it's, it's like a family, it's right. community. So it's very different. So all of that brings up, of course, the internal stuff that comes up. But this is actually the best place for that. Yes. <laughs> this is the best place to have a breakdown. Yeah. Um, if you have to have one... This is a good place for it. Awesome. So, yeah. All right. Um, what would you say has been your greatest love or appreciation um, so far here in your one year at the farm? Seeing the commitment of people here um, in terms of what the process has meant to each of us individually. Um, for a long time, I've been a Destonian you know, um, following people on the forums, participating, but not actually being here living and seeing the the people that are here that have been part of this process that are the core of what Destiny has been about all these years. So for me, it's been very humbling to be here with everyone, seeing how they actually live and seeing all the things that people here have to deal with that we didn't know, you know, perhaps people that have been walking with Destiny don't really see the day-to-day -day personal things that we have to deal with here on the farm. Right. Um, and that just makes it a lot more real. And I have come to appreciate everybody here a lot more. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Um, okay. have a last question. What for you personally, has been one of the greatest gifts you've discovered about yourself or others, um, if you can name one. God, I can't just name one. That's so hard. Um, okay. The greatest gift, I would say, would be having the opportunity to come here, first of all, was huge. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of me having now the space and the support to walk through so much of my stuff. Um, like I said, this is the best place to go through a breakdown, which I have, and I probably will again. But uh, I think overall, the greatest gift has been uh, me walking through so many things that I've been putting off in my life and coming here, having the space and the community and the support um, and being able to find 
not really fine. It's not like it was really missing. It was more like being able to uncover parts of myself that I've been suppressing. Yes. Getting in touch with strengths that I've always had but never had the courage to live. Um, creating and nurturing that point of stability, that self-confidence, that point of knowing that no matter what, I can support myself, I can get through it, I have the tools and I have the support, and that's something that's always going to be with me, and that's something that I discovered here at the farm. So, how do you measure that? I don't know. It's invaluable. Mm -hmm. So, that's definitely something that uh, is very real and valuable to me definitely. and will continue to be so. Awesome. Very well put. All right. Well, that's it for the questions. On a personal note, I've been really glad to spend some time with you here and get to know you. Aww. It's kind of what this is all about <laughs> also. Um, so we'll say bye for now. Thank you very much, Joe. Bye. Bye.